I just got back from the movie theater from seeing Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, a movie that just so happened to be released on my birthday. For that reason, as well as the fact that I'm a super nerd who has a Spider-Man tattoo and wears a Spider-Man apron to work, I've been looking forward to this movie for a long time, and it delivered on my expectations for the most part. The spot. <laughs> it's not funny. This review will contain minor spoilers, so consider yourself warned. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Be in Spanish. What? Ooh, okay. Miles. Are you trying Mira, to kill me? Mira, that's Going into this movie, I knew the art would be stunning based on the first one, and I was right. You could screenshot literally any moment from this movie and I'd be down to hang it on my wall. It just looks so good, from the composition of each shot to the mishmash of colors and textures. Among the most prominent Spider-Men shown are Ben Reilly, the Scarlet Spider, Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099, and Spider-Punk. I'll be honest, my only familiarity with these characters going into this movie was from wearing their suits in Insomniac's Spider-Man PS4 game, but it was still awesome to see them all with their unique personalities and each with their own art style. I will say, however, I'm a little mad they ended this movie on a cliffhanger. These days, if a movie's gonna end on a cliffhanger, it probably has a part one in the title, or says something dumb like the end of the road begins in the trailer, but not Spider-Man. These fuckers ended it on a to be continued and didn't even give us a release date for the next one. Come on. At least they gave us a title, <laughs> which by the way is Beyond the Spider-Verse. Uh, can't wait for that one. But uh, yeah, what did you think of this movie? Did it deliver on your expectations? Am I just a casual fan, despite having a tattoo? Uh, let me know in the comments. Hello, Governor.